All right, so they really don't put any fence around this one. Must not be so popular. I just walk right up in there and peek in the windows. Nah. Textile center. Now why do they have it set up like this? This is interesting. More textile stuff. These are metal. What is that for? Weird. They cover the windows. Not these though. Beehive. a part of it? You just kind of let yourself in. Got new new fist scars. Those look kind of nice. Interesting. This wouldn't be unlocked. Yeah. Okay. Oh, all right. Side porch. You can kind of look in through the. So, is it shut? I guess they locked it. Okay. Okay, and then this is. Doing some digging for that pipe, maybe. <clears throat> hmm. There's a sign that said you're entering a golf cart zone and it enters into the Whitman College area. I've never seen colleges get the, uh, the like, um, the ability to have a golf cart zone. And there's a golf cart all caged up right over there. Maybe that's like a designated parking. So I find myself going back and forth between my iPod and my Sony camera. Uh, for this Whitman College, so that's going to be a little confusing. I can't put them in good order. I'm bad at that. I was told by this food bank lady that you could see this building anywhere in the city. She ain't kidding. That's the uh, hotel. Mm. Yeah, I think this is an old library. An, yeah, it says right up on the top. Public library. Somewhere. Old Carnegie Public Library. So they didn't demolish that one. Check out this charge. Trespassing. 90 days in jail, minimum. 
Just going down there. How are we supposed to be able to eat these blackberries? Once they turn the blackberries, we can't reach them because of the fence. Somebody's been putting this Batman symbol on a lot of businesses. One's even on the library. I think it's some rogue person who's got a lot of Batman stickers. He's just putting them at random. But he's putting them like to make it look like it's a professional situation, but I don't believe it is. I think it's I think it's some some weirdo who is putting them on the doors mostly of businesses and that library. I thought this was a part of the church, but it's not. Spanish-American Philippine War 1898-1899 Philippines? Well, either way, it's, it's adjacent to the church, which it makes you think it's a part of the church. There's a lot going on here, and it's really disturbing. Their street art isn't as offensive as Aberdeen. That's, that's not disturbing. Alright, so they put a statue on the railroad tracks. My plans require time and distance, Marcus Whitman. Alright. Loves rocks so much that they put them on pedestals here. Different heights. So they got a Whitman Climbing Center during cement. Oh, and they can see the wall in be behind the window. Probably doesn't show up on camera. They also got a rock right outside so you don't have to go inside. They love their rocks around here. It looks like it's going to fall apart. Yeah, they, they definitely put some money into the landscaping here. So there's supposed to be some kind of a treaty center, treaty, treaty area, class of 19... Oh, in 1918. It took them 10 years after they graduated to make that thing. Which, yeah, 1968 is, I think, this stone archway. They put a lot of things together around here. There's supposed to be that tree tea center. Penrose House. Now that I think about it, in Boise, uh, Boise State University or whatever, they were riding around in these golf cart things too, for the landscapers, landscapers. but there was no sign that said you're entering the designated golf cart area. So this might be the treaty information, approaching this. a sign behind too. Here they were encamped in 1855. So they were killing Americans. Come around the rock to the other side. I don't believe that guy was very wise or brave. I mean it's like he, he sounded like he abandoned his, his Indians. He was their representative and then 
he was told there's a plot to kill some people, kill the Indians. So he, he switched over to the, the white men's camp. Interesting designs here. You're not much of a. This is the smallest balcony I've ever seen. It does, it's not a door though. Yeah. Okay, maybe I've seen I've seen that iron style balcony before. It's just for looks. You can't actually step out onto. You can't even. It's not even big enough to open up a door into. Wind picked up. Just gonna say this is like the fairgrounds of a military camp. Whenever you see wide open field with buildings all around. I've seen this at a, at a, at a, a preacher school too. Yeah, okay. Actually, I'm a little off about the preacher school because the preacher school, they had sidewalks that cut through it. A real parade ground has no, well, if it's big enough, I don't know. Actually, the last, the, the VA hospital, their parade ground was like, had a sidewalk that went through it, but it was a much larger. I don't know where Reynolds Hall is, if it's supposed to be this. But it could just be stone that they're using as, as part of the landscaping now. I gotta say, I'm starting to like the parade grounds look, where you got the big field and then the buildings all around it. It's it's really I've seen it on the the preacher college, military grounds, colleges. I kind of like that look. It's it's uh it offers like a Walmartization consistency that uh, is, is kind of like you can you know what to expect in a way. Got to be like squared off too. the best named church I've ever seen. Crazy Love Church. That's up there with the skateboard church. There's some very tall stairs. Over here too, by the designer. Is there like something under, is there storage room underneath those stairs? It's really excessive looking. You think you'd be entering a palace, but it's just a regular house. It's an odd fellows building, but also a uh, enterprise fitness complex. <laughs> They're shut down now because there's fences around it. I was thinking odd fellows. You fellows are odd. So the parking lot in the library is two hours time limit. So it's not something I'd be interested in parking in, especially when there's good parking all day and not only a few blocks away. Fellows building, but also a uh, enterprise fitness complex. <laughs> They're shut down now because there's fences around it. I was thinking, odd fellows, you fellows are odd. Okay, so across the canal from the odd fellows, they got bathrooms. That's pretty cool. It's on this trail, but the trail comes to a sudden stop at the doors. I'm looking over here and it's saying, oh, it's a park. There's some historical signs to read. And there's really good smelling food here. <laughs> Wait till you can dance on it. The Jitney dance. Oh, but then it got destroyed by a flood. Okay. On the trail. And there's a sign down that way, too. Can't go any further this way. That's... That's ridiculous. 
I think they pulled the picnic tables because I didn't like the people hanging out around here. Picnic tables are definitely a draw for me. But they pulled the picnic tables, and it's summer. It's not a winter thing. They just refused to put picnic tables there. Oh my god, these all these pictures and stuff have references. I'll just start out with a few. All right, Oddfellows Temple. There's an Oddfellows building just over there. Huh. 